at the end of this video i'll also talk about huawei ec315 photon max which has more features than ec152 photon plus here we have a usb dongle from tata docomo model is branded as photon plus it is made by huawei and model name is ec152 and works with cdma 1x technology it is mentioned on company's website that this model works with linux so i'll show that without getting complicated i have opened the rear panel of the device and there are two slots one is for micro sd i believe this can be used as a pen drive too we won't get into details about that and the other slot is for uim which should stand for user identification module in cdma technology i believe this is equivalent to sim or subscriber identification module in the gsm technology probably the device can be connected after unsubscribing from telecom service provider by inserting the uim of other network service provider to connect to internet this is not the actual shape of the device this one is halfway broken actually the metal part is horizontal to the rest of the device or the body of the dongle but this one is still in working condition tata photon plus has a special dialer software made by tata or huawei for windows which is not needed on linux i have not inserted any uim into this this device is pre configured by telecom company so let's plug it in i have connected the tata photon dongle in the usb port of the computer and now if i click on the network icon in the upper right side corner of the screen i get this option new mobile broadband cdma connection i'll click on that and this wizard pops up we just have to follow the steps in it i'll say continue select your provider from the list if it's not there you can do it manually but we have got our uh, service provider in the list so i'll select that and i'll say continue and if i click apply button it will ask for my username and password i'll skip that step i have clicked on the authentication button in the username password dialog box which was the last step in the wizard and the network icon in the upper right corner has changed i'll open a browser and youtube to check if it is connected to internet and the speed is like any other internet connection sometimes it is working fine sometimes there is a lag but it works next time onwards going through the wizard may not be necessary just insert the dongle click on the network icon and click on the tata indicom photon plus connection to connect after using internet click on the network icon say disconnect and remove the dongle if genom classic or genom flashback or genom 3 is to be used to connect to internet then the network icon appears on the upper right side of the screen just click on the network icon to find tata indicom photon plus connection there will be a button next to it just switch it on and it will get connected to the internet the icon changes above when finished using click on the network icon again and turn off the button right next to the tata indicom photon plus connection and it will get disconnected in kd plasma the network icon appears on the lower right side of the screen just click on it click on tata indicom photon plus connection click connect when finished using the internet click on the connection again and say disconnect if it works with linux in india i believe it will work with other network service providers in other countries too if a new device is to be purchased it is better to consider tata photon max ec315 i couldn't get the ec315 photon max to make a video the ec315 also works with ubuntu linux and has more features it can be used to connect more than one device simultaneously i have also tested the ec315 photon max by connecting to the usb port the method of connecting is same as used for ec152 photon plus if there are any updates i'll post in the description that's all